Hello, I'm Simon Kelly from WP Elevation. And in this video, what I wanna do is share with you an initial meeting framework. Now, through the conversations that I've had with many freelancers and agencies over a very, very long time, and through my own experience running my agency, uh, what I've found to be incredibly powerful is having a consistent initial meeting framework, right? And this is something that we teach at WP Elevation as well as part of the blueprint. This helps to position you as an expert. It helps you show up uh, in, in the meetings with preparation. It helps to keep your, your client's mind at ease throughout the whole process as well to show that you are the authority, that you are the expert. So having a process is absolutely critical and I wanna share that with you in this video today. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna take control and actually set the agenda for the meeting. So when you arrive for the meeting, whether in person or just over the phone or on Zoom or Skype or whatever you're using uh, for the meeting, you wanna take control at the very, very beginning. Because from the client's perspective, they've arrived at this meeting, they're not exactly sure how it's gonna go and what the process is, so they want to take control. They wanna ask you specific questions, they wanna ask about features. If you allow that to happen, they'll control it from here, and that's actually not what's gonna help to get to the core of what's gonna make this project successful and ultimately successful for the client and a good relationship. So you want to arrive and you wanna set the agenda. Now, one of the ways that we do this is by saying, first of all, we start with saying, great that everyone's here. Thank you so much for coming along to this, this meeting. So I've got, a, I've got 45 minutes because I've got another meeting straight after this. So just wanna make sure that we uh, stick to the plan. Now, the way it's gonna work is I've received your initial project inquiry and I just have a few more questions just so I can get crystal clear about the project deliverables and exactly what success looks like. Uh, so I'm gonna be asking a lot of questions and um, I hope that's okay as we move forward. And then you wait for the client to respond and give a verbal yes. And that's basically how you set the agenda. What will happen now is the client will relax because they'll be thinking at the beginning, they need to set the agenda, they need to keep things moving. But now they know that you're a professional, that you've done this before and you've got them, uh, you've got everything under control. So that's gonna put them at ease and they can just relax and they can just answer the questions that you have for them. It puts you in the driver's seat, it keeps you, uh, positions you as the expert and gives you the authority for the rest of the meeting. Okay, the second thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure you've got the decision makers in the room. There's no point having a meeting with second in command or the person that's not actually writing the checks because what you're going to be going through in the meeting and getting clear about the goals of the project and what success actually looks like, it needs to come from the person who's gonna be signing the contract and paying the bills. So if they're not in the room, you just wanna ask that initially, you know, is the, who's the decision maker on this process? Ideally before you uh, rock up to the meeting, you wanna know that they're gonna be in the room. And if they're not, you can just politely say that you need to reschedule because it's important that all the decision makers are in the room. So that is point number two, decision makers in the room. Point number three is you wanna record the conversation. Now, if you're using something like Skype or Zoom, uh, Skype have, I think, uh, they've got Skype call recorder. And then for Zoom, there is a recording feature as well. But in person, you can just use your phone. Now with Android, just have a look in the app store for uh, a voice recorder. I think there's one built in. And for the iPhone, there is a voice memos app that you can use. There are more complicated ones that do more than this, but those are the basics that just keep things nice and easy. There's no need to use anything more complicated than that uh, to record the conversation. Now you just wanna say, um, before you sit down and record that, you just wanna let them know, um, just so I can make sure we don't miss anything, um, if it's okay, I'm just gonna record this conversation. And you get permission for that, and then hit record, and then put that down, right? That is another factor that will position you as an expert, show that you have a process, and just make sure that nothing will get missed uh, when it comes to the recap for the meeting and any of the, the details that are gonna be important as you put together the proposal. All right, so you have set the foundations for the meeting by setting the agenda, making sure the decision makers are in the room and recording the conversation. That's perfect. That really sets you up as the authority and as the expert for the rest of the meeting 
uh, to follow. So now in this step, what you need to do is really understand the goals and the objectives of the project. This is absolutely critical. And where I see a lot of agencies and freelancers go wrong in this uh, particular stage is they're talking about themselves and what they can do and the features and we can customize that and we can use the plugin for this and this theme and, and start recommending things. This is not what you wanna do. You wanna resist the temptation to try to be valuable in the short term in favor of being valuable in the long term and actually positioning yourself as the expert. And the way to do this is to clearly understand the goals and objectives of the project. Uh, now we uh, call this method the go wide, go deep technique. And there'll be a link just near this video where you should be able to uh, click on that and learn more about it. It is one of the foundations of what we teach um, at the blueprint. And basically it's just asking why, why is this project important to you and getting really crystal, crystal clear on what success looks like. Hopefully at this point, a, um, a, the client would have submitted some kind of project inquiry form um, over to you. So you've got a bit of context and, and information and you've qualified this client before you have a meeting with them. Uh, and you'll want to run through that and just get a bit deeper on the details. So if one of their goals is to double their email list in the next 12 months, you want to say to them, you know, why is that important? Right? And get clear on what that looks like. Like how will that impact your business? Uh, what kind of things would um, what kind of things would that change in your business? How would things be better as a result of that? Okay, so going wide and going deep on all of those things. All right, the last thing that you want to do is to send the client a recap. So after you've had the conversation with the client, you're clear on the objectives. You want to recap during the meeting just to get clear on the conversation and take the key points. Uh, so this is important and that's important and this is important and this is what success looks like. Is that right client and get their verbal feedback? Awesome. Take notes on that and you've also got the recording to re refer to later. But after the meeting, you want to send them an email recap with what their business objectives are, what the objectives of their customers are, uh, their budget and what success looks like for the project. So you want to set that up in an email template so it's nice and easy to send to the client um, after you're done. Now, my favorite question to get really clear uh, on what success looks like with a client, especially if they're not really being responsive in this when you're asking why, what else, if they're not being very responsive there, uh, what I find helps uh, the most is to say to them, uh, so let's say we're celebrating success in 12 months. Now, what needs to be true? What's changed? Like, what does that look like? What does success look like to you in 12 months, right? And then going wide and going deep on that. So why is that important? What else? What else? Now, trust me, uh, it may feel a little counterintuitive. You may want to talk about the plugins and the features and the themes and all of that stuff, but resist that. Uh, use the go wide, go deep method. Uh, find the objectives of the project and that will help to position you as an expert and the authority. Okay, so now you know how to have more effective client meetings uh, by setting the agenda, making sure the decision makers are in the room, recording the conversation, getting clear on the objectives and the goals of the project by using our go wide, go deep technique and also sending a recap of the key points afterwards. I hope this really helps you to, to win better projects and position yourself as an authority and an expert uh, in the minds and eyes of your clients. Uh, if you are interested in working more closely with myself and the WP Elevation team, we would love to help you grow your business. Uh, you can learn more about what that looks like by signing up for the webinar below. It should be in the description somewhere and I would absolutely love to see you on the inside and help you grow. Uh, in the meantime, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions, I would absolutely love to hear them and what you found most useful from this video. Just let me know in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you in the next how-to video.